Alright guys, so welcome back to Live is Strange Before the Storm. So yeah, um, we just got done with episode 2, like, not that long ago. And I have no clue what glitter mode for episode 1 and 2 is. So I will have to check that out. So let's go ahead and play episode 3, Hell is Empty. Yeah, that's what I didn't do. I didn't open the door, so... Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, are we still at the same house? From after the last episode? I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Beautiful couple. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your S birth mother. That is not how you spell Sarah, is it? I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends oh he looks he looks pretty Sarah cool as man favorite. it's a man for every boy wanted that. to date her i could barely believe it when she picked me 
sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing... I think I saw that dance before. Careers. Families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. What the hell? For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. So she killed and drugged herself? I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied by anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. you saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Wow. Uh, I'm sp speechless. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. 
But now, she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, True. not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel, I think I need to lie down. can't leave Rachel to deal with... <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. Please, put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. <sighs> this is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Do we think we should check on Rachel? Let's just find out. This is a room? Pretty cool.
uh, Rachel? Episode three, Hell is Empty. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. It's like a cheeseburger. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what the cork board is, but I just don't know what the, what the pictures are. Hey. Hey. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Hey. Uh, we were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know why I opened that. Can I close it? Close it? Yes, um... The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. <sighs> this light needs more light. Nah, I don't know why I turn it on. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Is there like a thing I can turn off the lights, dude? There's a pretty high powered flashlight in that emergency kit. Wait. Will that work? Let's find out. There was some way to make this brighter. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's cool. All ready for Rachel. There was some way to make this brighter. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. 
I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Check it out. It's <laughs> beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Ah, it's going to out now. I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. No idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. <coughs> of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill. 
who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. <laughs> My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her... How do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. Uh... What now? What the? Oh, that was David the douchebag. I fucking hate Dad, you, David. I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Wait! I am just Remember looks when exactly we used to like Eminem's um, hair color Those when he was blonde. Some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't... you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. I fucking hate you, David, you fucking oh, asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop hating him so much. Sure. What? That's crazy. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Here it is. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just 
theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about stories told by idiots, full of sound and fury, signifying fuck all. Victoria, I fucking Nailed hate it. David. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Um, what? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Uh-uh. No. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Much that fucking pedophile mustache and shit. Wait, what the hell? Who that? Mm. Oh, hi. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? David. Doesn't David's seem ass will ass. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Uh, Wait. David? That motherfucker. Uh, the shit? Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. <sighs> Jeez. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. How rude! <laughs> well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, 
I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Oh, shut your fucking mouth, Victoria. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Is that the... Yeah, that's a hamper. Nothing? No awesome pirate towel. Um... A logical place for a towel. That is so Lots true. Lots of washcloths. No towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. <laughs> He's a douchebag. Score. Oh! The Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Okay. Wow. Um. Don't know what to say. Should we wear? I need new clothes. Um, boots, Williams clothes. Just trying to be weird or nothing on this crazy ass day. Bonus outfits. Ouch. Oh, hey, it's the one I. Yeah, I'm just going to change. Yes, I literally wore that at the beginning of the game, so... Let's check the Illuminati Deluxe. Oh, hey! Alright. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Yeah, she's wearing the, the garage downstairs. Close that we know what she wore in why is strange. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. 
Okay. Report card. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. So I gotta go find these tools somewhere? So tools, tools, tools. Okay, that's my bedroom door. Oh, fuck no. Shit. Tifid really is moving in. Douchebag. No way. Mom actually sold her ring? For $300. I really hate that mom keeps hiding this photo. I go look at that book. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. I fucking hate David. You know, Fuck you don't you. have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Oh, hey, David. Fuck you. Glad to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Oh. Sure yeah. doesn't seem like home. There's someone else's shit all over the bathroom. Well, we've always talked about needing a bigger bathroom, haven't we? Sorry, Mom. Just forget I said anything. I'm not staying long, anyway. Just here to pick up something. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I 
Really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Ah, you motherfucker! It won't take but a minute. Okay, I like keep my shit together with a douchebag. Mom. Gotta keep it in. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. Huh. Probably about what? Him being a bitch? Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. Oh! Oh, you know Come why on. I'm gonna regret it? Because you're a dickhead. Take a look at the this. The bitch. Well, you're freaking ass when I was looking at cosplay. This is my friend Phil Becker. We why do the cybers look gray? Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. The boo poo. Oh, boo fuck shit, bitch. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do. I hate you, fucking what, David. Whatever I can <laughs> to help you fucker. get over the loss of your dad. You don't know nothing. Please, ass. I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? <laughs> Think about what I've said. Should I keep it or no? The last person? I would ever talk to about my dad is you, Chloe. Think it over for more than a, a minute. It's a basic courtesy, you know, when people offer to help. You're Don't. out of your fucking mind. Ha <laughs> ha! You disrespectful little shit. You just made a serious hey, mistake. Both of you. You don't scare me, asshole. Oh shit. Yeah. Fuck you, David. What the hell? Son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill him one of these days. <laughs> 
Oh. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Is that a guitar? Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really fucking hate David. Anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.